Hi, hello. Wild Arms 3. Um, I don't remember which way we're going. Northeast? Maybe? I will talk to people. Uh, this is the problem between my rather lax uploading as of late and the XCOM is I, I can't remember things. Tell me about... Yeah, I think we talked to you. Tell me about your life story. This town is what it is now, but originally it was a rest stop for pilgrims visiting the shrines. What's this name? These pilgrims hired Drift as his guards. But eventually, these pilgrimages ceased, giving the rise to this lawless town. Things sure went downhill pretty quickly. Yeah, I think that was new. Hmm. What do you got to say? This is something I heard from a customer. There's an abandoned lighthouse in these pots, and below it runs an ancient waterway. What's a waterway? They say monsters are inhabiting now, but if you make your way through, you'll cross the continent to reach the mountainous region. I don't remember many details since I was working, but that's pretty much what I remember. You ever read something out loud and don't parse any of it? You'll reach the con across the continent to reach the mountainous region. Alright. Yeah. Yep, that was me. Just reading out loud, not paying attention to anything that was being said. You! The weaker they are, the bigger they talk. They just keep exaggerating. But in my case, I let my skills do the talking. Spoon bang! Yeah! You. Even though I track down a criminal, if he escapes via the northwest ruins and makes it to the other side, there's nothing I can do about it at that point. It's not like I'm walking off the job. My jurisdiction is the surrounding area of Little Twister, that's all. I don't exert any authority outside of town. That's right, you don't. Okay. Well, northwest of here then is a special set of a waterway crossing the mountainous region I wanted to get something done before I forgot about it though yes see look at this we have another duplicator I wanted to yeah go back and take care of that I guess probably yeah I'll speed up the recording here we go Oh, look at this! Did I never think to press the select button while I had the map or something? But hey, this is, I think, that thing I bought forever ago and I never got around to using. Millennium Puzzle, Telepath Tower, Town. Ah, oh, that's mysterious. Alright, uh, back to speeding up, I guess. Oh! I saw a green exclamation mark and I was very startled. I think that probably means I could have skipped this for free. Oh well. You live and learn. What did this say again? Try talking to Armand Guard every day to see what she says. Okay. Sure. Here you are, chest. The one I've never opened. And maybe the rewards aren't worth it at this point, but we'll see. Uh, uh yeah, name tag times three, okay. Um, whatever those are. <laughs> Changes his NPC's name. Consumable. <laughs> okay, well, we can do that then. Oh. Uh, it's fun to come back for that. I don't know that that's useful, but. Well, all right. Horses and games, I'll never understand them. Well, I'm back. Uh, yeah, name tags. I bet you couldn't change anyone's name like Janice, you know, because you don't really. Hmm. No, you don't really, you don't really get the opportunity to just chat to him outside in the field or anything, you know. I was thinking about it during a uh, Jolly Roger, but no. I think he just appears and then he leaves. 
But hey, that's a, that's a strange item. I can't dismount here. I can't dismount there. There we go. Yeah, the green exclamations were nice. Lots of free skips for backtracking. Um, yep. All right, sand canal. All right. Uh, hmm. So it is you, the indignant ones who dare stand before our lord. What? Uh, what a weirdo. Insurance, death awaits those who dare mock a knight. By order of his majesty, none shall pass. We Huskarls protect him with our lives. Oh. Alright, well. Here we go. Immediately boss time. Hum. Okay. Let's... I didn't change any of arcana around. I forgot to think about even doing it. Chasna, Vendedirt, Wishraft. Well then. Um. We'll take... One shot for each, and one analyze. I mean, if I if I make him fight a little back, I just get the stench and do it for everybody. No, I can't. No, I can't. That's not how it works. Because they're in different rows. You know how it works, don't you? <laughs> Excuse me. Protect. It's like a stun club, a lightsaber, uses magic damage. Wizardry brand? Tell me more about you. No, I guess I don't have elemental strengths or weaknesses in that regard. Brass Zapper? Hey, I just noticed yeah, Gio is in. The Huskarls react to impede your actions. They nullify your protective arcana and heal each other. They seem to be highly ordered. Okay. Mm hmm. Are, um. Yes, they do seem to be. I mean, we haven't been protecting each other, but it seems like I guess they are not gonna stand for that. Um. Yeah. So, like, we don't have any, like, status effects we can inflict on people. think so. Feeble mind. We can make him sleep. Maybe. And we can use gravity. I guess, yeah, let's try making one sleep. The blue guy, because I guess he's casting protective magic. And we'll try to focus on Jasmine? Weasel size! Is there going to be a, a shrinking status in this game? Oh, there's a death status in this game. Okay. Get out of here. You're being too strong. You get out of here too. But I, I know Skio has uh, four digits of health now. Yay. It probably helps that we've got, you know, two honking arcana on him. The lucky devil. Not many people get that luxury. There we are. Yeah, we got plenty of these. But, uh, yeah, kind of interesting thing to just realize. Like, let's not attack the sleeping one. I don't think we could wake him up that easily, but, um, you don't. He is alive! And very weak. Nice critical. Is he healing himself? Oh, well, if he can heal, we'll definitely try to put him to sleep, too. There you have Sleep status. Everything's a cakewalk now. We just beat the game. There's nothing to even worry about. Just forget about it. It's fine. I, I don't know if I should just be using this right now, but lucky card. You'll love to see it. you love to level up. Hopefully, Olive can have some of that instead of dying again. Or getting amnesia again, rather. So sure, let's put sleep on our last person here. And maybe we can, I don't know, kill them in their sleep. Right. I wonder, like, how long does the sleep status last? 
because if I remember right, the last boss battle we had, we couldn't really wake them up from their sleep by attacking them. Now get out of here with your death ring. Yes. Maybe they're immune to sleep. Maybe it just happened to miss. If you don't know a state effects is the problem. Alright, well, either way, yeah, let's all pile on on this guy. Uh, should I try again? I might as well, I think. And you, do you want to punch a man? You can't use any FP because you perished. That's true. Alright, go ahead and reload then. Nice critical. Oh, that was the death sound. We're good. Yeah, put him back to sleep. How did it miss? Now, as best as I can tell, they all seem to be, like, um, the same in terms of abilities. I might be wrong on that. By the way, I think we're gonna... Oh yeah, Wizrap is awake now. Yeah, they're still asleep. So, so I think we'll focus on Wizrap now. Why don't you, yeah, get yourself happy again. I should try putting him to sleep. It seems to work really well. Sometimes it feels bad using Gyo only as like a support. Only for his magical abilities. But somebody's gotta do it. But we could spread the love around for sure. We could have someone casting sleep. We could have someone casting heal. And just two attackers. Things might go slowly, but safely. Who could say? Either way, let's take this guy out. You cannot do this yet. I await the day you can. Yo, know, you should have some fun, I think. Yeah, let's do it. Oh yeah, he's... Oh, that was it. He definitely wasn't waking up from us shooting all the time, so... Mm, big shred. Texas. Yeah, how about you go ahead and do that? Can't do that yet. You could not... I mean, you could extension heal everybody. I guess save us some vitality. Olive, you need to reload. Yeah, you love the critics. Yay. It doesn't look like they're asleep now. Oh no, I was just looking at the blue one. I mean, I am right, this guy's not asleep anymore, but... I was, yeah. The blue guy was just down, and it was very sad. Yeah, you can use your FP. Fair enough. Yeah, one guy just trying to defend himself shouldn't be a problem. Oh, that's it, actually, yeah. These guys won't enough for this, alright. Hmm. Olive used to have the highest level, you know, before any of them met. So it's kind of ironic he's the lowest now. Womp womp. So rough! So vended her! Why? What ho? Oh. We have but one mission to prevent any incursion. Make haste and regroup. Goodbye. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that sure was a group of people we fought, huh? Huh? What's in the next room? Okay. Yeah, they said there were waterways down here, but um, I guess there ain't that much water on Phil Gaia now, is there? What's this do? Nothing. If only I could reach that switch. If only I could fall in the sand. I was about to call it lava, but it's not. Probably. All right. Well, yeah, here you are. Your dangle doll. Have at it. Oh. Well, good thing you're standing on this. Like this is a sealed door. And yep, we're gonna have to remember that now. Nothing else sealed I have to remember. Unless I've missed some, but that's whatever. That's how it goes, I guess. Throw these in the sand. I didn't even need to. 
<laughs> you just kind of turned. You gotta believe me. I probably shouldn't break all these. In case I need to, like, solve a puzzle with them. I don't think so. What's this? It just kind of looks like, like a blackboard, you know, it's writing on it. But I guess it's not. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're good to go. So long as we use this technique. I can solve your dang puzzle. That's my beginner time tool. What do you want from me? I'm not tempted to try walking on those, but they don't even lead to anything. It's like a, like a Dark Souls thing. I don't know why it specifically reminds me of that, but it do. Maintenance person only. Keep clear of the bridge, thank you. I want to hit the lever. Please. Hey, more lucky cards just after we ran out. Woo! Okay, well, now let's go ahead and fight. We haven't fought whatever is in this dungeon. Which is this thing! Alright. Uh, it's a cave, Taurus. Don't you know? Yeah, it's only got two legs. He's doing his best. Nice dodge. Oh, nice counterattack. Don't kill it before we can analyze it, though. What's wrong with you? This is a cave, Taurus. It offers very little XP in Gala, it feels like. It's weak to wind and resistant to other stuff. Oh, look at that. Bye. Well, what a friend. I don't want to say we're like over leveled for this dungeon because I don't know how strong that thing could be. We happen to dodge its attack really well. Can you get that? Can you get that? Can you get that? Can you push this? I guess we could try to just... Hey! We can solve a puzzle! Get some vitality. Um, move on, I suppose. There's a waterfall of sand. This is just like Final Fantasy XII. Have I ever told you about that game? It's amazing. This is the sand scene in the game. Like sand that like runs like water and it's just... Yeah, I don't know. It's pretty neat. Always something behind a waterfall? I want to see what else is in this room. I want to see... <gasps> see? What a fool I would have been. How remiss of me to consider skipping this. Gimmel coin! I will say that. Yeah, especially accounting into the time that I'm probably speeding up and skipping. We've we haven't played much. I'm not gonna stop here. Just forbid me and everything else if we run into a whole cutscene and boss scenario. And it becomes an hour long again. Oh here they are again. So thou hast made it this far. But thy luck ends here. We defend the honor of the Huskarls to the death. Oh, okay. We're, we're back. And I keep not messing with my Arcana, and it makes me a little sad. And yeah, they're not... They are unanalyzed again, so... Probably nothing terribly different about them, in theory, maybe, perhaps. We'll see if we can get the same method to work as before. I don't know what's going on. Wow, that's a solid critical. Okay, just protect yourself, why don't you? Wow, double critical. Well, now he's going to heal himself. Which is understandable. Yeah, just stare him down, Hugo. Show them what for. That still works. That's a lot of damage. I'd rather they didn't do that to me. If that's okay with you. Yeah, go ahead and... Yeah, like after all this time, we really just have like eight heal berries, and that's kind of sad. But oh well, go ahead and heal yourself. 
chat. Uh, like, yeah, just kind of do your thing. You. And Olive. Just can't lock on. Do your thing. That's better. Oh! That's still a solid hit. They're still not adapted to my super sleep technique. I guess that's the thing, like, we don't have access to many status effects as of yet, anyway. But, like, we're doing a good job of it. I mean, like, what status effects we do have, they're pretty good. They are quite powerful. And I guess this does beg the question, like, hey, if we were to use buffing attacks, or buffing spells, then I guess our whole strategy would be ruined. But that's just not how I play games, I guess. Red guy is down. <gasps> well, I missed. Again, it kind of begs the question, did the administer is he immune? I wish it was more clear, but we'll never know. Not for realties. Like, should we try using magic on them and just kind of see what happens? Maybe they're just innately magic resistant. Maybe. Here, I will inspire you. Anyone need healing? No, we're actually good on healing. With restrictive magical effects. These targets low power. Yeah, it's a whole. I'm not gonna worry about it, honestly. He's low on FP, give him some FP. Olive, why don't you do this? Yeah. Yeah, that seemed to do plenty, alright. Maybe they'd counter it if they were away. That didn't do very well. That did quite fine. I guess Texas's spell I used was a non-elemental attack. So... Well, I mean it's a non-elemental spell, so if they're magic resistant, then it would still work, right? I don't know. This is just this. Yeah, everyone can just have a good time. Nice critical. Good one. Nice one. Excellent one. Looks like he's not asleep anymore, but hey, it's fine. Just go for it. I believe in y'all. Weasel size! I guess I should have done. <gasps> he was actually cancelled. So he didn't get shrunk or anything. And those guys just reloaded. Yeah, I wanted to. I did hold it down for a sec. That's fine. It's okay. I'm not mad. It's gonna protect himself from magic, so stop using your fancy magic attacks, guys. No, I said stop. Well, I mean, I think your magic stat is probably really strong right now, actually. But still, stop it. Okay, I regret this. Auto battle off. Mostly because I just want to do this. A happy day. And then, that's mostly it, honestly. Like, I could use a Gela card, but they sell for more than they're useful for. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. Yeah, it's fine. And nothing really. Yeah, it's fine, okay. I just wanted to change Texas, I suppose. And I wanted to make them stop using magic. I guess there's the point, though, that. Well, a good sacrifice for the team. That was it. There's a good point to be made that maybe Gyo is better off casting magic spells than shooting. Because his magic stat is probably pretty inflated right now. What with them arcana. No level ups. Impressive! Curse us! Our lord shall not see his plans fulfilled! Oh, his sickle fortune! Oh, sickle fortune. Huskars, forgive me! Oh. Hail, brothers! Let our true wrath be known! Wait, 
Wait, there's, there's more? And what's with the green getup? How the hell should I know? Just another creep, that's all. Oh, Justus! Our bonds are thicker than blood! Our powers are greatest when the four become one! Make way for the Huskals! Oh boy. Okay. Well, here we go again. Well, it's probably gonna be harder. Is it just gonna be, be because there's a fourth one? Or because that one's actually, like, really powerful? I don't know. Um... Just yeah, it doesn't look any different, of course. Man, this is great. <laughs> Alright. Well, do your thing. Should we start on him this time though? Let's let's not break our tradition. Let's go blue again. Okay, I'll go ahead and shoot red. Hmm. Okay, he's actually really cool. Um alright. If we're gonna cast sleep on anyone, it's probably gonna be him. He turns out he's pretty alright. He's pretty fantastic. 69. I don't know what this brand did. Oh no! Our technique is failing! Maybe Wizardry Brand is just the name of their attack. A default normal, okay and fine attack. We could always hope. Um, do we have anything that could be used against them? Everything here is always to help us, and it doesn't get them. Oh, I'm gonna put this on. That's weird. Did I just get another one? That's weird. Either way, I can use a mini carrot on everybody. Just kinda help us get ready for this intense battle. Yeah, keep focusing on Jasna. See if you can sleep. Just you! Olive. Yeah, you know the drill. Maybe. Yeah. Like, I've, we were at least dodging all their attacks before. It's hard to say if they've been buffed or if we're just a little unlucky this time. If we're all so stunned by the presence of the fourth one. And so far, they only like heal and buff on themselves, which is kind of strange. That's great news. You love to see it. Stop it. Alright, in this case, Texas Mystic with the lucky card. You know it's a it's a great strategy. It beats all our foes, obviously. Good Gatling with your gun. Yeah, you guys not. It didn't work on Wizrap, so better do it on Vendor. Olive, go ahead and reload. Well, with the fourth guy, this lucky card is in better use than ever. We need to deal Texas. Hopefully we can take this guy down soon, but I don't think we're attacking him anymore this round. Good. Alright, we're definitely still set on, like, taking down the red guy first. That's just what happens when you're top the party order, you know? Don't you know? I think you'll be... Uh, I mean, I, I shouldn't get skimpy with my item usage. Just go ahead and use that. You can go ahead and reload. Go ahead and try to sleep with strapped again. Olive. You can gatling. Yeah, go ahead and Gatling on Jasna. Unless Jet happens to take him out first. Okay, well, you're not gonna do it either way. No, that's right, Jet was reloading. Hey, hey! Nothing can stand against our sleep technique. Like I told you, the game is over now. There's nothing to worry about. Go home. Like I still want to try grab on someone. 
point. Yeah, you're all still asleep. I'll go ahead and try it again, but I guess I'm not expecting it to work this time. Gatling on Jasna or whoever is still alive if he's not. No, he's still up. Alright. Yo, they be stopping. Has he been the only one we've seen healing? Yeah. In that case, it may have been right to go after the red one, because he might be the only one healing. Oh, he's gone. Oh, no, we killed him. Oh, no. <laughs> um, hmm. Like, yeah, if they can heal more than just themselves, then definitely it's a good thing we're going after the red one. These two are still asleep. This one got that funky camera angle every time he's in on him. What's up with that? So definitely let's go after Wendadirt next. Do you want to sleep then? Maybe. Maybe not. Why don't you... Yeah, why don't you go on healing duties for a little minute? tell if physical attacks were less effective on him or not. The thing is, oh, hi. ironically, with my nerd hobbies, I don't pay attention to the numbers very much, and that's very strange for me to say. But yeah, I have a hard time telling <laughs> when attacks aren't effective. There he goes again. Well, everyone's okay. But that guy needs to be put to sleep immediately. And maybe we focus on him next. Alright. Aside from that, like, one sleep miss, it's been a very reliable attack. So, good. You love to see it. Um, yeah, Texas. You wanna heal? Everybody could use a little healing, yeah. Alright. Make everybody happy today. You're, you're awake now. Yeah, Gio's job is a busy one. He's our very reliable pal. Yay! Not down yet. Hooray. Stop it. Well, uh, this should be all that we need to do. More or less. Gio, how about you use, like, an actual magic attack on a person? Because that seems to be a thing you'd like to do. Ah, right, he's gone. Who are you going to attack, Gio? Looks like the blue guy, yeah. 131. Well, we could for go for the blue guy next. I'm just more worried about the green guy, that's all. Yeah, I'm gonna override Gio's judgment. Because I'm a bad boss. And we're gonna go after Jastuk. We could extension and do something with our friendos. Maybe. Do we want to? Probably not. Probably not. No, go ahead and just do your thing, I guess. Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah, it's a solid chunk of damage. Yeah, better than getting sniped, so Gio is definitely a magic man. I'm always just going to mention it offhand, and I'm never going to do anything about it. But we've really got to reorganize our arcana. Wait, is he awake again? Should I do anything about it? Maybe. Probably. We haven't done that much damage to him, so let's do that to be safe. You can knock on him. 
Hey, what a friend. And yeah, he didn't do anything like that big shocky attack. He didn't even try that. Easy peasy. Wow, okay, that was actually it. I thought he'd take at least another round. This guy's awake now. I'm gonna let them have some fun. Go for it. We already used that card after all. The lucky card. 94. This is probably better than her guns. Maybe. Maybe. That's tasty. Because Jet and Olive are doing like just over 100 with their guns. Olive, I'd expect that from him. Okay, that was actually really good. Is there just a wide range of possibility of how well she could do? But yeah, Olive, I expect his gun to maybe, that was bad, be one of the strongest, just because, you know, it has so little ammo. And it is a sniffer rifle. Yeah, but see, Texas did more damage with her guns in this round. Maybe she's been missing some shots? Or maybe it really is just like a wide like variety of what it could do. Either way, we got him. Ain't nothing to it. You know that we can do it. What's that? Damn. There we go. Well, what do you got to say to us now? Well, now we know. You talking about how we keep running the weirdos like them? No. You mean how it seems someone's trying to stop us? Yeah, that's it. It's like some will, some force is watching us from the other side of this tunnel. And they've been trying to prevent us from reaching the Guardian Shrine. You mean those ethical real guys are... They're in cahoots with Janus, and they're waiting for us. Oh no. Well, I'm gonna dare to go one more room. I doubt we're gonna run into a boss again. Yeah, okay, especially if we kill those guys. They weren't even there at the end to say, Oh, oh now what, what we must treat? And in battle they just... Pshh. So that's kind of sad. But that's enough. That's a, that's a big enough episode for me. Especially after the long streak of other episodes where they've been just so ridiculously huge. So that's alright. We'll, we'll cut it there. Mid-dungeon. Maybe at the end of dungeon. Probably not. If those vitality gems were any indication, we probably weren't at the very end there. Anyway, I guess if you have any recommendations for reorganizing my mediums, I'll take them. Because I'm bound to forget to do it next time anyway. But I'll try to think about it. I'll try to fiddle around with it. Just because uh, Gyo with a great magic stat is cool now. But yeah, I don't want to dump all the support abilities on him. Just spread him out a bit. Share the load, share the love. Anyway, thanks for watching Wild Arms 3. We're just over four hours in game time. Wow. See you next time. Bye-bye.